I am Megapig9001. For the past four years, I have made videos and fan games about the Toho Project series. In that time, I've accomplished several things I'm proud of, including reaching over 9,000 subscribers, co-hosting a convention panel, and winning best writing at Toho Fan Game Jam 11. But there was something else I was doing at the same time. College. I've been attending college to get a degree in game design. The industry is a bit rough right now, but I'm still happy I did it. I truly do love video games, whether that be playing, analyzing, or making them. But I've had an experience similar to other Toho creators. I've learned in tandem with both Toho and college. While I did learn the basics of project management in college, the Toho Game Jams were where I truly found my passion as a game director and put my skills to practice. While I did get to take a few writing classes scattered throughout my major, it was through making Toho videos and stories that I was able to keep practicing. I made my first scripted Toho YouTube video right after graduating high school, and also joined my first Toho Game Jam then. Likewise, I'm going to enter the next Toho Game Jam that happens after I graduate college. I've entered more Toho Game Jams than I've had quarters in college. Toho has truly been a constant. Toho is a unique and powerful series. With the pre-established world, creators are able to express themselves while also having access to an existing audience. You get to practice working with an existing IP, something common in the gaming industry. But you don't have to adhere exactly to Toho canon. You can put your own spin on Gensokyo's mythology, and develop your own style with Toho as a launchpad. For my final project in school, we had 25 weeks to develop a game. There were very few restrictions, so my mind turned to Toho. The series has meant so much to me for so long, and it's changed my life for the better. The ultimate culmination, I felt, would be to make my final college game a Toho fan game. I'm happy to introduce my team's college project, Toho Dreamweaver. Toho Dreamweaver is similar to one of my jam games, Protest in Perspective. It's a visual novel with point-and-click elements where you're primarily focused on piecing together a story. You play as Doremi as you go around the dream world helping wayward souls, which are other Toho characters. For my final project, I wanted to try to flesh out one character's dream into a chapter and my team ended up deciding on Alice. Alice has reoccurring nightmares as explained in a lore book, but we never get to learn what these nightmares are. I thought this was a fascinating dangling thread, and was eager to write my own ideas for it. With a lot of character rating, a few explorable rooms, and a unique flashback system tied to Alice, I can say that I am very proud of how this game came together. There's talks about cutting features when you overscope. Sure, I would have liked to add a flashback or two more, but the vision of the game matches the original design document I wrote at the start of production, and this is of course thanks to the excellent work of my team. As this was a college project, I had help from a few people from my school and general area. Telemis is a programmer I've worked with for the past few years, and he helped program a lot of the main gameplay and backend elements while I focused on production and writing. A school alum named Zafuro joined the team to help with some effects. There were some other Toho fans I met at school too. They helped me with the game's art, which I was very grateful for. But my team members and friends don't end with people within a 20 minute radius. From other Toho game jams, I had both a lot of friends and experience managing large teams. So after learning we could recruit members outside of school, I put out a call for help on my development Discord. And... A lot of people said they'd love to help. All of these recruits were people I'd worked on games with before. Iced Lemon programmed an entire new visual novel and point-and-click engine. ZZZ Sleepy drew portraits and a ton of other art for the game. Panchamon drew the intro pictures. Tubbs created some gorgeous backgrounds. Saishu drew the item set for a mechanic. Spear drew a lot of the flashback art. Konbai set the base for the UI. Solaris helped me write the game. 
Lucky Walk composed the music and did sound design. These were all people I'd met online through being in the Toho fanbase. Your friends are not just the people you meet face to face in person. They are also the people you meet through a digital screen. Throughout the project's creation, I was able to use techniques I had learned across my four years of serious game development. I had my production spreadsheets and design documents ready. We used branch development on Git to reduce merge conflicts. I helped refine scope with some tricks. For example, these aren't just sketches. They also resemble the ending art style for the official Toho games. So artists don't have to draw as much, and yet, the pictures are still true to the series. From online jams, we were able to do a lot of development asynchronously and through text chat. But I still did meet with Telemus every week, and some team members joined in development voice chats every once in a while. While we did run into a few snafus like timing issues and Git import shenanigans, development overall was very smooth. So what is the final result of Toho Dreamweaver? It's a chapter of an interactable visual novel that I estimate might take a player 20 to 30 minutes to get through if they want to see everything. So, it's a lot like my team's other games. But, we had more time and resources to make this game. So there's a lot of unique art, plenty of music, and cool flourishes throughout. The story between Doremi and Alice is one I'm pretty happy with, and I hope it touches the hearts of other players. Do you want to play this game? Well, it's up! If you want to see the work of me and my team, you can download through a link in the description. So, what's next? While I don't know how far we'll expand Toho Dreamweaver, I can confirm that it will be playable at Toho Fest, and my goal is to have an entire new section ready for the event. This section will be smaller and designed as a tutorial. It will have a unique gimmick separate from the doll system in the Alice chapter. I don't want to give too much away, but I will say that fans of some other dream-related Toho characters should be pretty happy. But away from Dreamweaver, well, I'm still planning on making more Toho works. Again, there's a game jam coming up in a few weeks. I'm not missing that. My work in the world against Tokyo might slow down if I get a job, well I hope I get a job at least, but for the foreseeable future, I'm still pumped to make games and videos in the Toho series. But, this is the end of an era for me. Whatever's next, it'll be from a new chapter. But I didn't get here alone. Again, thank you to the Dreamweaver team for taking their time out of their busy schedules to help me graduate. And, there's a lot of other people I've worked with too. If I've ever made a game with you, check the description. I have a message. So yeah, that's maybe everything. Thanks for watching. Again, if you want to try out Toho Dreamweaver, you can find a link in the description. As for me right now, hmm, maybe I'll go watch some Bad Apple. <laughs>